Ah, welcome back to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat with yet another one of these videos. This one I feel like is very important. I uh, was listening Instagram to Tim Pool, and, and he Facebook. had mentioned this thing that had come up before, ghost donations. Now, just by mentioning that, I uh, I feel like this video is probably not going to see very much attention. But uh, this, just hear me out. This, I feel like, is one of the most important things when it comes to American politics and probably global politics. Uh, Anyway, I was listening to that, and there's this whole hacking thing that happened today where there might have been a cyber attack on Facebook. The thing is down. And I started putting two and two together, and I came up with uh, with something that might be, well, a little bit alarming uh, for anyone who believes in democracy and self-government and that sort of thing. And it, it's... Uh, it's related to what happened in 2017 with the Equifax uh, data breach and who was responsible. It's uh, it, it's going to blow your mind, I think. I think you'll have to let me know what you think, but um, yeah, I, to me, this is this is huge. Ah, thanks for sticking with us. I swear I'm not always drinking coffee, but it does help when you're doing this sort of thing to have, uh, to trick your mind into thinking that it has more energy than it has. Anyway, take a breath here. As I was saying, I was putting two and two together. And, you know, the, this ghost donation thing has bothered me for a while. I can't remember who it was that uh, that discovered it originally, but I know, uh, I believe it was Stephen Crowder that that ran into this, where there's these people, if you're not aware of what uh, ghost donations are, essentially someone is donating in someone else's name to a political cause or a political party or political uh, someone running for office, and the person making the donations doesn't even know about it. Uh, it's just being done in their name. Um, there's a lot of this on the, the I'm not going to pick, you know, political parties here. I mean, everybody can figure that one out on their own, but uh Essentially, that's what's happening. And some of them are really crazy. Like some guy was uh, making like four donations to some kind of a, a pack or something or a political party to the tune of four donations every single day for 14 years. And they'd never made, some, I guess, in their mind, like a, a political, I don't know. They, they weren't doing it is what it came down to. And it's like, well, how's that even possible? What what is What exactly is going on and who is making the donations then? So, like I said, I was listening to this, and I'm sorry for the uh, the disjointed sort of uh, uh, form that this video is taking, but um, this just occurred to me, and I, I wanted to get it out there so you guys could tell me what you think, or so that, you know, if it's as profound as what I think it is. I'm not saying that I'm profound, but just putting two and two together. So, if you uh, go all the way back to 2017, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm reading this off of uh, Wikipedia, but uh, there's lots of other sources if you want to... Uh, to find it there. So back in 2017, if you recall, there was a data breach at Equifax, which is a, a group that um, has a lot of your personal information, you know, social security number, everything. Think of your most personal, most important information, the stuff you would never want to have stolen. Equifax has it. Well, they had a data breach, a massive one that affected, you know, 147.9 million people, according to this article here on um, Wikipedia. And I was looking into it to see who it was that was responsible for this data breach. Well, it, the, according to the U.S. government, it was the People's Liberation Army. Now, if you're not aware, the People's Liberation Army is not just some like weird hacking group. It's the military arm of the Chinese Communist Party. That's right. It's the Chinese military. They are the ones that took that information. Now, what would they do with that information? I mean, are they going to like make fake credit cards and stuff in the name of American citizens and some Canadians and British people? Probably not. Uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense for a military to do. So what? Let, let's look at this from the government perspective. What might they want to do with that information? Well, uh, one of those things that they could do is use that information to make donations in your name. That's right, the ghost donations. What if they used that information so that they could use their money to make donations that would favor the candidates that would move things in their direction, that would help them out. You know, these uh, these 
political class morons, a lot of them probably have no idea that this is even happening. I, I'm sure that there are some also that are corrupt enough that they know what's happening, but they don't care. But a lot of these people probably have no idea. They're just going along, you know, taking the money like, OK, well, I'll take it, whatever it is. And uh, they have no idea. Or, you know, they're seeing the uh, the money coming in from people uh, supporting certain causes and it pushes them in that direction. But I, I think that I have found something here that um, these ghost donations that are going in to influence our elections are being done for, by foreign governments, hostile governments, the People's Liberation Army, just to name one. They're not the only ones that would do this. I mean, once that information is out there, I'm sure they would share it with their allies, their, anyone that's on their side, so it could be Russia. You know, when they come out and say that the, the Russians were influencing in the election and all this stuff, yeah, well, yeah, they might be. I mean, gosh, where's this money coming from? We don't even have a way of tracking it. You know, it comes back to a U.S. citizen, some regular random person who has no idea that they're even doing that. How would you even find that out? The government knows about this, and they're they're turning a blind eye. In fact, when I tried to look for this uh, particular topic on Google, I was surprised that I couldn't find anything. There's nothing about ghost donations in the, the results. I, I didn't you know go through page after page after page to try and see if something would come up, but this seems to be being covered up. It's like they know about it, and because it's convenient, because it's helping their side, or for other reasons, I don't know what, they're covering it up. But I, uh, I have good reason to believe that, you know, these ghost donations are coming from foreign governments, which means your government doesn't represent you. Uh, I mean, a lot of you are probably already coming to that conclusion for other reasons. But, uh, well, a lot of the craziness that's happening with the government and, you know, what they're doing, maybe it'll all make sense now when you realize where the money is actually coming from. I don't think it's even necessarily coming from American corporations, or anyone in America, like I said, you know, this with this data breach, by having that information, that personal information, a foreign government like China could make donations on your behalf to political causes and candidates that you would never support. And uh, you would have no idea. You'd have no way of knowing that because uh, that information isn't being released to you. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit here. I... I um, I know that this will never happen because I know that this message is never, I, I, I hope, I wish that the message would get out to more people, but I think it's time for the government to be forced to release that information to you. If you have made a political donation of some kind, I'm not saying to give it out to everybody, not like uh, we're going to send it out to uh, you know, your neighbors and stuff or have it as public knowledge, but some kind of a form right, that comes to you listing all the donations that you made so that you're at least aware of it because um, otherwise this kind of thing can happen and no one will ever know. And, and I, I, I feel like I've stumbled into this. I just put two and two together just listening to this. And I'm probably not the only one or the first one, but um, it's very disturbing. There's a lot of disturbing things happening right now here in the United States and in the rest of the world. And it all seems to go in one direction. The destruction of this country, you're probably noticing the destruction of your own country if you're in a, another Western nation. And it all seems to favor the people that are supposed to be our, you know, hostile to us or our enemies. They, they seem to be destroying us and using all of the stupid stuff that we have in our countries to take advantage of us and just wreck us. Putting... Uh, yeah, it just drives me nuts. Anyway, I'm, I wonder, what do you guys think? Am I wrong? Or is this a possibility at least? It's very alarming. I don't think that anyone is investigating it. It, it, it bothers me even more to think that uh, the people in the government who should be investigating this are aware of it and are covering it up so that um, it never sees the light of day, so that nobody ever knows about it. And we just continue marching forward to our own destruction. Um, it's crazy. I, I feel like the American people need to take control of their government. It, we, we need to take it back. And uh, something has to be done about the way donations happen and who is able to, well, I guess this wouldn't even matter. It wouldn't even matter. You could reform the laws so that corporations can't donate. You could do all of that and it wouldn't matter because these, uh, these foreign governments now have your personal information. And they can use it to make donations in your name. It's just absolutely crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this because I want to get this video out today as well. And um, 
Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with this channel. Uh, like I said in the last video, which if you haven't seen it, uh, go ahead and click wherever the, the little link is. I'll put it at the end of the video, too. If you didn't see the other video we did um, today, it, it'll be there. Also, uh, very important stuff. Just things taking place that I think people need to be aware of. It's a crazy world. I'll see you guys later.